Hey guys, it's Joey from Tech Tips and More, and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPhone video for early 2019. So let's get into it. So as I said, today I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPhone at the current time, which is February 2019. So I don't know about you guys, but I personally love watching what's on my iPhone videos and finding new apps to get on my phone and stuff like that. So I just decided I would make one to hopefully give you some cool apps that you may not have in your phone that I have on mine and uh, yeah so let's get started so um, first of all we just have the standard Apple apps for reminders I use this app called Memento um, I was actually one of the beta testers of this app and uh, it's pretty it's not like it's pretty standard but uh, I like it. it's very simple you can just add type in a reminder pretty basic um, for navigation I mainly use Apple Maps I use Waze occasionally but mostly I just use Apple Maps for uh, sports, I use I use the NHL app for a long time, but as I started to look into more sports, I uh, started using the score. I can follow all the teams that I like on here, and uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, my weather app of choice is called Hello Weather. So uh, it's really great. Um, it's a nice um, interface, very basic. It gives you more information than the standard Apple weather app, but it's also not too crowded like some of the other apps out there. Um, I bought. I, I am one of their a member of their fan club, so that shows you how much I love it. Uh, I paid to be in that, and yeah, it's an overall great app. Gives you the the radar and stuff like that. Uh, below here we have um, the standard social media apps: uh, Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram. I'm a major Reddit user, and recently I've been testing out this app called Slide. It's just another Reddit app. Um, I really like it right now. Um, it's like there's still stuff to be improved, but it's really nice, and I don't think I'm going to keep using it. Uh, one second every day, Spotify, YouTube, those are all the main apps I use. Um, let me know if you want a link to my Spotify playlist in the description. I'll, I'll be happy to give those to you guys if you want them. On to the next page, we have Fantasy and Freebies. I don't use these all that much. Check out 51, HQ, DraftKings, like, very rarely. I used to use these a lot, now I'm starting to get away from them. Life, these are just the standard Uber, Lyft, I've never actually used Lyft, I just have it on here. Open Table, I'm starting to use more, and yeah. Uh, photo editing, the main apps I use are Photoshop Express here, and uh, in Light. Those are both really great photo editing apps. Tada is not really, I use it solely for the purpose of one uh, feature you can blur out the background of pictures that don't have portrait mode really well on it that's the only reason I use it uh, the other two I don't really use at all food and drink uh, those are just standard served I was actually a beta tester of two and it's really great because what you can do is rather than searching for restaurants of places where to go you can literally just search say I'm feeling like a uh, waffle right now I can literally just search waffle and it gives you the restaurants nearby that have waffles. Like it's really cool. Um, I highly recommend it. Served. Um, it came out like just last year, and I it's really great. Uh, eBay, StockX, I use for buying sh uh, sneakers. YouTube Studio occasionally. Google Photos. Um, Product Hunt. I don't use all that much. It's basically you can find uh, brand new products and apps that have just launched for startups and just cool things it's really it's lately it's been really glitchy for me so I haven't used it all that much um, PayPal just standard stuff one password is my go-to uh, password manager so I'll just give you basically you unlock it with your face and it has all my passwords for everything in here uh, it's really great I'm not going to show you the passwords obviously but it, you'll understand it the more you use it, and it's uh, highly recommend people. If you don't have a pass password manager right now, then what are you doing? Like, it's pretty. It's really important to have one. Goodreads. I don't really read a whole lot, so that's just motivation to get me to read more. Uh, I have an Apple Watch, so I have these two apps there. Letterboxd is an app I use to. Uh, it's a social media ish app that I use to log all the movies I watch. So Joey Johnson is the username. Follow me if you want. I log. Every single movie I watched recently, what have I watched? Um, uh, I've watched Ballad of Buster Scrubs, the Fire Festival documentary, A Quiet Place, and I rate all. You get to rate all the movies, and then 
it tells you the overall rating of the movies too. So that's really cool. Uh, if, for movie lovers, or even if you're not a movie lover, I'm not a super in-depth film fanatic, but uh, I do recommend this because it's nice to look back and rank all your movies. Uh, Twitch, IMDb, Fortnite, I used to play it a lot, but I don't play it as much now. And Pigeon is just a neat little um, iOS game. I really like the graphics on it. They're like great. Uh, I'll just show you what it is. Basically, you have to go around and pop all the red things. Um, it's Yeah, it's a bit glitchy because the graphics are so high resolution. Like, I think it might have glitched the uh, recording thing here, but it's really great. Okay, so on to the second page. We have SoundCloud. I Love Hue is another game I used to play a lot. Um, standard games. OK is uh, another app by probably my favorite iOS game developer, Camibox. I pretty much buy every single one of their new games. This one, what you do is you drag a ball and you have to hit all the white spots without hitting a black one. Um, and yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty addicting. I don't know what level this is, but um, let's see if I get it here. No, and I went in there, so I don't win. But highly recommended. It. it is called OK, and yeah, check it out. Headspace is meditation. Tune in radio just for when I listen to the radio. Speed test to test my Wi-Fi. Get high is um, by Cami Box again. My boys. Um, it's just a pretty, pretty basic game. You just try and go as high as you can. And if you fall, then you lose. But uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, check that out too. Check out all the Cami Box games. VPN Hub is a uh, VPN by you can probably guess who created it based on the logo here. Uh, I'm not gonna say their name in case I get demonetized, but yeah. Rarely used is just random apps I use like, every once in a while. I'm not gonna get into those. Parcel is my parcel tracking app of choice. I, I probably should get a better one. I just don't feel like paying for one. So that's the best free one out there right now. Shortcuts, I use quite a bit of shortcuts, actually. I'd, um, here are all my shortcuts here. If you don't know what shortcuts are, check search up Apple Shortcuts, and uh, it's a really cool thing you can use. Like I have a lot of good ones on here, too. This one... Um, it lets you save videos from w news websites, any any website at all. Spotify lyrics, um, yeah, it's really great. Uh, yeah, nothing really. Google Classroom for school. And finally, onto the last page. These are all the apps that I've mainly just gotten. Um, so I'm not really super in-depth with them. Facebook, I don't even use at all. Overcast, I'm trying to get into podcasts, so I use that. Reddit, this is the Reddit app, the official Reddit app I used for a long while, but I'm testing out Slide right now, so I'm just keeping it back here. Bacon is another app by Camibox. Uh, Leafs for when I go to the Leafs games. Um, Recharge is the new startup, I'm sure you guys have heard about it, where you can rent out your house for a few hours for people to relax in. It's kind of like Airbnb, but only for a short period of time. It's pretty cool. Reports, pl Reports Plus to follow my Instagram. Discogs, I got a turntable. So that's used to track on my um, vinyl. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully you like this. Uh, leave a comment down below on um, some new apps that you think I should get that I don't have. Or if you got any apps that I have that I showed in this video, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll link the wallpapers in the description if anyone wants those too. So yeah, I've enjoyed from Tech Tips some more. Peace.